Campus in Residence, Kyle Graham, uh, who is joining us today from Vancouver Island. Vancouver Island, yes. Um, Kyle was a resident at Main Street Arts in November and December of 2018. And uh, Kyle, would you like to just remind people what you were doing while you were at your residency at Main Street Arts? Uh, so when I was back in New York, um, I was focusing on self-portraiture. Um, so doing a lot of nudes in nature and having a lot of uh, nature background in my history, I was trying to find landscapes that would complement uh, my past experiences um, and how nature has basically complemented me and me complementing nature. So, uh, and then I was also finishing off a series um, wearing clothing that is normally identified with women um, and trying to understand and narrate why it made me so uncomfortable wearing it and putting together and finalizing that series. Um, so I realized in New York, because I was pushing that series for a couple of years, I realized in New York that it was time to move on to something different. Um, so those were the two main projects I was working on while there. Okay. And uh, where did your work go from that point after you went back to normal life uh, after the residency? Uh, things I know needed a bit of a change. So after pushing myself for probably over a decade of just kind of always being out of my comfort zone, I decided I kind of needed to step back a little bit and I was still doing some photography, but it was uh, been greatly reduced. Um, with that being said though, I'm starting to slowly branch into some artistic endeavors again um, in a slightly different platform. So I have two books that I've been working on and um, I'm currently in the process of attempting to move. COVID has changed things a little bit and will take a bit longer. Uh, but when I have space again, I'm looking to get into a little bit more sculptural work. Um, I've had this idea of uh, taking you know, like light boxes and the, I, I don't know the, the material name, but um, taking light boxes and morphing them into like the shapes of my body. So there'd be like, you know, a two foot naked Kyle beside your bed and it'd be a lamp. So you could like turn it on and you'd be like turning me on sort of thing, or that's the idea. Yeah, I like that. Uh, and I, yeah, and I have no clue how hard it is to do something like this. I haven't seen anything like it. I don't know if it exists or not. I'm sure it does. Um, I've actually contemplated coming back or like reapplying and see if I can get back to New York because I think that'd be a great space to work on that sort of thing. So, um, so yeah, that's some of the artistic stuff that I've been like slowly dabbling in, but not too much self-portraiture um, or more, I guess, in-depth artistic endeavors. Um, and I know I saw, was it today or yesterday, I saw on your Instagram that, um, was it the Grand Tetons, the photo from there? Yes. Yeah, what yep. was that? Is that part of a different project you're working on? Yeah, so that one I'm really excited for. So the Grand Tetons, I, I simply like to travel. I like just to go to different national parks and um, just see different areas. Uh, so I've explored, I've reasonable amount of like the west coast of the states. Um, I think I've been over to 20 plus different national parks, let alone state parks and all these other areas and um, and also like in Alberta and British Columbia, Vancouver Island, all these different areas. Um, so I just have a huge amount of landscape photographs. Uh, and then the other week um, or a couple of weeks back, I've always been fascinated by cabins. I just think they're extremely interesting and in the diversity that you get of them out there. So I eventually got this book called Cabin Porn. It's like, in or Cabin Porn Inside, which is all like the interiors of cabins. Um, and it is exactly that. It's Cabin Porn. It looks phenomenal. Uh, it's super fun to look at. Not that fun, but you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> And I uh, eventually came up with this idea. I'm like, it'd be really cool because I love doing long walks on the beach. I know it sounds super cliche, but I love just walking on the beach forever. Uh, but also with those, um, you get a lot of these like driftwood shacks uh, that people build and they're just slowly built through time. They slowly get taken down through time because of like different weather events. Um, so there's these, there's like this really fascinating community element to them that I'm 
wanting to explore because you don't like the architecture is always changing and you don't know who the architect is because it's 40 to 40 different people mm. um, or sometimes even more or less you know depending uh, anyways that ended up morphing I'm like well I'm stuck inside right now pretty much um, and I have a huge amount of photographs like I think I have 100 and probably 20,000 plus photographs just sitting there uh, so I came up with the idea to do like a nudes in nature photo book when I'm photographing other people and then I came up with the idea going back to the Grand Tetons of doing a landscape book so I'm getting pretty close to finishing the landscape book um, I'll send it off to as like a test run send it off to the printers probably in the next week or so uh, see how that turns out and then and then that will probably end up morphing into a fine art book of self-portraiture of the work that I've done um, but that one's a ways off yet but I'll eventually get there I think so yeah so in other words a book. <laughs> <laughs> are you still working at the art museum I finished there probably six seven months ago or so okay um I well I've done like one or two shifts since just as like a side contractor but as I'm trying to move out of Whistler um my place had sold or so I've been trying to sell my place in Whistler it had a contract out so I was like finishing everything and quitting everywhere uh I'm still maintaining all my photography projects so if I was getting gigs there then I would do them yeah. um or if somebody needed help with something happy to help um but I didn't want to have any long-term commitments knowing that I was going to be moving quite far away. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I've just been in the process of moving to Vancouver Island. It's just been going slow as the contract uh, fell through. And um, yeah, so I'm finished at the museum and I do miss that atmosphere. They are shut down now, but uh, wouldn't surprise me if I am back in Whistler for a week or two and I just help them out for a couple of days or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's good to have that relationship still then. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you can see the dog here in the back. She's <laughs> fancy. Hey guys. <laughs> Marco. Yeah. Rodney's asleep, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you met Kyle, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. How's it going? She's really sick of me doing this to her because yeah. I do it every time we have like a video interview. I'm like, here's Marco. <laughs> I think she's she's over it, yeah. Yeah, she's over it. <laughs> you know, do you want to say anything else about how the current state of things has affected you and your work? It's it's kind of funny because like I've been one of the reasons for me moving to Vancouver Island is for a slower pace pace of life. Mm. I've always been known as this person just kind of goes go goes and has a thousand different things going and. Um, and I've been really trying to slow things up, but it's been uh, just taking its time. Um, but I noticed that with COVID, it's just really allowing me to slow right up and go really slow and think of things out a bit more methodically and become a little bit more patient. I think one of my biggest things is just being patient. Um, so I have a camera that I actually bought in New York that... I've been slowly, it's like a very, very old school, I think it's from like the 1940s maybe, or early 50s, it has like, it's like a pop-out camera with the bellows on it. Oh yeah, um, you bought that at like a, yeah. a thrift store around here, right? Yeah. 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 So yeah, it's just been allowing me to go slower and think about where I really want to go with my arts, because sometimes I just dive into something, but not fully understanding why, which I think is okay too. Um, but I've never really done this very slow approach before. Um, and like I've been slowly photographing some landscapes again, or like landscapes that I consider to be a little bit more fine art that just have really unique lighting or some sort of interesting narrative to them. Um, so I've been slowly getting back out there it's, and it's just been really, really good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so there's been some really good benefits, I think, through forcing me to slow down. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of, um, I mean, a lot of the people we've talked to so far, former residents and just other other people in general, um, you know, everyone's just trying to make the best of a bad situation. And, yeah. um, you know, I, I hope that we all, you know, come out with something positive from this, even though totally. it's been a negative thing. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, 
I know some people find it extremely challenging, but for me, it's like, I'm already very introverted. So basically being forced to not go out is not overly challenging for me. It's just like, okay, so it's like regular life. Yeah, um, that's how, that's how going, it is too. <laughs> yeah. Like we were used to going to the grocery store every two or three days and now we're just going once a week or if we can stretch it a bit more, we do. Yeah. Um, just nice to have some fresh produce a little bit. So. Mm-hmm uh so yeah we're just trying to make stuff last as much as possible and that's kind of been the only sort of major changes um but yeah anything else you'd like to say or um admit to us this moment admit oh god (laughs) on the spot (laughs) is there anything i need is there something i forgot to tell you guys (laughs) no i'm just kidding uh, oh, did you guys? Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever been back to where I was doing the wheat pasting stuff. Oh, I think oh, about that all the time. Like whenever we're driving through, but it's like we're always like on, trying to yeah. get back home or do whatever. We should we should like we should plan to do that. Again. Like maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. I would yeah, love to know if this something is up in some regard. Yeah. Yeah, we'll send you photos of what what's there. That'd be awesome. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that was actually a really fun project. Um, yeah, it's actually nice being on like. In Whistler, there's nothing that's kind of derelict like that at all. Um, yeah. It's basically a brand new town. So Vancouver Island has a lot more diversity of landscapes and buildings and that sort of stuff. So I could see myself becoming a little bit of a rebel again. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, good. I almost thought about like, um, well, the sculptural stuff that I was mentioning before. Of I've seen people that like, if I can find like an outlet in the wall or something where it's just like the shape of my head, and just like have it plugged in directly into a wall, but just like somewhere out in public. So all you see is this like illuminated head and <laughs> people are just like completely weirded out and freaked yeah. out, but also it's fine. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it'd just be really fun to play with. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that would be, it'd be good to, you know, use like public perception as part of the concept of, of the piece for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. art wise, I haven't, been up to a ton so I've been pushing like last summer I was pushing myself quite a lot mentally and scrambling up different peaks and just getting back outside to the mountains um so even though I was taking a rest from art I was still pushing myself mentally in a different capacity that for me is still like related it helps me with the arts a bit so um helps me with processing but it still keeps me in that like same mindset sort of i don't know if that made any sense at all yeah no that makes a lot of sense i mean i know like for me it's it's kind of not stressful but like uh it's really disappointing when i can't get into the studio for like large amounts of time uh like you know there'll be a few months go by and i don't get to paint at all but you know you kind of take whatever you were doing into the studio again you know and uh, so i think that that makes a lot of sense Yeah. yeah so yeah, I have nothing to admit at the moment. I'll see if I can come up with something for next time, though. Good, good. Oh, yeah. I miss you guys. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we miss you too. Yeah, no, this is this has been really cool to connect with people we haven't seen, you know. And I mean, some people we just saw what like a few months ago, yeah. or yeah. Um, but people like you or others that we haven't seen since, you know, even further back in 2018. Uh, it's been yeah, cool. I mean, we we always keep up on what's happening because we can follow people on social media and that's good but totally. it's just yeah. a, it feels like you're here it's great yeah yeah no it's uh like just imagine if it was 30 years ago where we don't have webcams and we're sending each other letter mail and right yeah well it's still yeah, the phone totally different. yeah we have to like yeah. dial the phone like this you know <laughs> five cross an arm and a leg because it'd be long distance out of the country i mean ooh. yeah yeah. I really miss those sounds. I thought of creating like a um, like a cassette tape of all like old school t- sounds from like <laughs> the 80s or before from like the old fax machine or dial up internet. And yeah. so you just have like three minutes of dial up internet sounds. Yeah. Like it would that. really take people back, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Sitting there waiting. Yeah. 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 Just... Uh, one day yeah. I'll get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let us know when that venture comes alive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, it has been a pleasure. Thank you, Kyle, for joining us today and 
telling us a little bit about what's been going on with you. And uh, we hope to hear, hear from you again soon. And maybe and an application come through for a, another residency. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be, I think, a little while yet. Life has been a little bit too slow, but I definitely would like to come back. Yeah. And thanks for having me on again. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Well, nice to see you. Have a good one. Enjoy, right. enjoy your summer. Thank thanks. You, you too. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye.